Welcome back to Machine Explained. And in this session, I'm going to show you how to create that cool kind of tape stop effect that you hear in some tracks and push loops as well, where you get repetitive loops playing very quickly. And you create that by using an effect which is part of Machine and it's called Grain Stretch. Now, what we want to do is we want to do it across a number of tracks, not just one track. I want to do it across the drums, the bass, and the hit. And I want to leave the ambience without it on. So we're going to do some routing first. So I'm going to come to Groupie. I'm going to name that and I call that tape stop. So the first thing we need to do on the group. Now the next thing we need to do on that group as well, we need to make that an input. So we make it an input and we leave it internal. That's how it should be. The next thing we want to do is come to our drums, come to group, come to output. Instead of master, we're going out to E input now. Do the same for the bass, group, output, E input. Hit as well, group, output, master, e input. Now, all of those are coming through this channel, the tape stop channel. Watch our masters for a second, and the mixes of the levels, so e is there. As you can see, it's all missing except the last thing, the ambience. Now, I want that to be like that. So, the next thing we want to do is we want to come to our tape stop channel in that group there, and we want to come to the drop downs, and we're going to add in this grain stretch. First, I want to show you what it does. There's two things it can do. It can do repetitive hard loops, so I'll show you that first. And the second thing it can do then is it will do pitch stops, which is like tape stopping slow. Let me show you that. So I could do one or both of those things. And what I want to do first is automate that. So I'm going to find a spare pattern. I'm going to use 17 for this. I'm going to make it four bars long. And we're going to draw that automation in. So I'm going to have it on. What I want to do first is make sure the mix is down to zero at the start. And then we are going to put the mix up first. So we want to go to add modulator. I'm going to go to grain stretch. I'm going to go to mix first. And it wants to be starting to do stuff. So let's push this up a bit so we can see what we're doing. Let's put our paint on. Wherever it's down here, it's going to be off. And wherever it's up here, it will be on. So I want to push the mix to there, like that. About there. And from this point, I want it to be down to there. Suddenly going to jump up. Very last minute there. So sorry, just push this back again. Pull this one back down here. There we go. Right, let's just check that first. See, it's jumped up there. And the tape pitch stop is going to do the same thing here as well. So we want to add a modulator again now. We're going to go to grain stretch and we want to go to pitch. And this time we're going to draw in this pitch and we're going to do it so it starts here and then just descends slowly down like that. So let's have a listen to that. Cool. Let's do it a little less extreme. Let's try that one. Now if we put the two scenes on now, so we've got this scene as well, it'll go down and we'll get the space. So that's how you get the tape stop effect. So let's lose that one. Go remove there. So we've still got the output in, the output mix there, but we want to add now the stretch instead. So we add the modulator and we go grain stretch and we go 
time stretch and this time we are going to draw that in from here and draw that in like that let's try that from the beginning let's do seven for now at least two together. How cool is that? So there we are. That's how you get some really cool tape stop and loop stretching effects using grain stretch and some clever routing. Thanks for watching.